Okay, hello. I'm gonna be looking at uh, the U.S. states because I um, get very lost in the U.S. Uh, I, I have a lot of trouble telling the states apart, so I thought I'd do a little bit of research um, and share it with you, and then maybe we can both get a bit better at the U.S. because I struggle. I struggle with it, to be honest with you. I struggle quite a lot. So I start with Alabama. Uh, it's um, down here, this one, one of the southern ones, if you're unaware of its location. It's got a flag that looks like uh, if the English flag and the Scottish flag had a baby that wasn't the Union Jack. I don't know. Um, Alabama, pretty flat. Uh, the Appalachians kind of dip into the north of the, of the state, but you won't see any like big mountains. It's mostly just kind of rolling hills. And then very flat coastal plains down the south. Lots of forests. Um, oak, hickory, pine. Specifically, it can look very lush and green, but also kind of dead in winter. So just be aware of that. Um, yeah, in in winter coverage, it can look a bit different. But I mean, this is still a forest. You just it's just uh, winter. So. Uh, architecture, mostly, I had a little look around, it's mostly kind of one story, rectangular, kind of bungalow looking things, nothing too special, um, but these are just some examples of, of typical houses that I saw. Plates, um, Alabama is one of the states that doesn't require front plates, so uh, front plates, most of the south, you don't need them. Michigan you don't need them, and Alaska recently you don't need them, uh, so it's a good way to, to kinda, if you're not sure if it's like Pennsylvania or Florida, I don't know, uh, you can use the plates, like if you, if you have no idea you can have a look at the plates and be like well at least I can eliminate the north or the south, kind of, uh, so yeah, no front plates. Um, the plates in Alabama, mostly kind of yellow, green, blue. We'll have a look, we'll get into some gameplay and we'll have a look at what they look like in game. Um, here are the biggest cities. Got Huntsville, Birmingham, Montgomery, which is the capital, uh, Mobile down south, and then a, a couple of other bigger ones. Um, yeah. Uh, just good to be aware of. And then phone codes, I don't know. I don't know if you care about phone codes. I'm gonna try and learn them at some point. Uh, but yeah, these are those, if you wanna make a note of that. This is what the state highway markers look like. These are really good to learn for every state. Some of the states are kinda boring and generic, but Alabama has, it's the shape of Alabama, but kinda squashed. <laughs> it's a, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, you see this little kind of tag down the bottom, which is the the cursed, like this is the Florida panhandle, if that makes sense. Um, so that's unique to the state. This stuff is also unique to the state. You've got this one bollard. I don't know how often it comes up, but it is unique. You've got every state has their like adopt a highway signs, which are unique. Apparently these letters on poles are unique. I haven't seen any. We can have a look in game for some of those. And then this is what the T junctions look like. And then that is it. So we'll get into some gameplay and have a look around. All right, so let's uh, let's get into the map here. We'll play moving, we'll play no time limit. I'm not looking to pinpoint at all. I'm just looking to kind of have a look around the area, make an educated guess, and uh, mostly just see what the state looks like is the main thing. So we've got this kind of red-ish soil which is very interesting. I haven't, I wouldn't really associate that with Alabama to be honest with you. Um, we've got kind of wintry looking coverage just because the pine trees are the only kind of alive trees that I can see. Um, but yeah we've got these kind of long rectangular houses, quite short but like long, if that makes sense. Got a bit of a <laughs> uh, well-loved American flag. Um, 
We got a county on this bin. I don't know my counties, so even if there is a county on that bin, it's not especially useful to me. But yeah, this is the kind of forest that's typical of this area. Lots of pines. I think pines, you get a higher concentration of them the further south you go, pretty sure. Um, so this could be quite far south towards the coast, but we'll keep having a look around. Um, see if we can see any signs or anything that confirms our suspicions. We've got a T-junction ahead. We can see that unique uh, T-junction sign. That's... what does that even say, bro? <laughs> Grove? H hill? Maybe? How old is that sign, do you think? <laughs> it's... it's uh been through a lot. Okay, there's the there's the Alabama T junction sign. That's one one thing that uh, states are often unique to different states, so they're good to know as well. Uh, so we got these pine forests. We've got I don't know what the yellow thing is. That's fine. What's this growing on these trees? Do we think? I wonder if that's specific to a certain region. It's kind of cool looking. Um, does this tell us what county we're in? Is this a county sign? I think it would if it was legible. But again, um, counties are not actually particularly useful to me unless they're named after cities. Alright, Allen and Walker Springs. Allen and Walker Springs. Uh. Oh, there's a you've. You follow in uh, Alabama as well. I know there's one in Oklahoma and around there once. These seem like they're probably pretty small places. I don't know if they're going to show up at the zoom level. So I'm going to head a little bit further down the road. And if if we find something nice, if not, I, I'll make I'll make a guess because I think we've we've got a good feel for this area. It's definitely winter coverage. Ohio Western Volunteer Fire Department? Okay. Yeah, lots of... what well, I don't know what these trees are, but it looks, looks like a kind of pine plantation almost here. Got this very... yeah. Alabama, you will see these kind of old looking, somewhat abandoned buildings from time to time. I know it's one of the, like, lower, lower economic you know what I'm trying to say. Lower GDP states. Police jurisdiction? Sure. Isn't every jurisdiction a police jurisdiction? Oh, unless unless we're in a... Uh, like... What are they called? There's like areas... Um, you know what I mean, the, like, Native American... They have their own, like, police and stuff. I'm just thinking that's what that sign might mean, but I'm not... I'm not really sure. Um, let's see what this building is. It might be in a very small town here. If this is a... like a town hall, maybe. Uh, Magnolia. Right. Um, I don't know if that's going to show on the map, because <laughs> this seems like the public services, seems like um, quite a small area, uh, Magnolia. Alright, I'd say we're probably fairly far south, like somewhere between Mobile and Montgomery. We'll click on Evergreen. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, we're in a very... Does Magnolia even show? Sure? Is that even a place? There's Allen, actually. Um, no, I think that was just the name of the church. I don't think that was a town. Uh, but yeah, that's actually not a terrible guess. I went there because of um, the number of pines, pretty much. That's why I went there. 
But good to know that there's kind of reddish soil in that area. I, I, I haven't really noticed that ever. Um, okay, we got that sign again. Good to know. It's uh, full of bullet holes, I think. <laughs> yep, okay, just Alabama things. Um, pretty generic looking poles. Lots of pines again, but the it's kind of dense shrubbery rather than like a forest. I kind of almost associate this with like a wetland kind of area, like we might be even further south than we were last round, would buy, be my initial guess. And we got similar kind of sandy dirt, which is interesting. Yeah, what are these, what's this, um, what are all these plants, I wonder? I'm not sure. Yeah, I would put us very far south. It's also quite flat, like the mountains you don't really get until quite far north in the state. Um, I think we're quite rural. <laughs> I don't know if, don't know how many clues we're gonna get. Um, but yeah, this is just another example of, of an Alabama forest. Lots of, uh, I'm not great with my US trees, but they look like this. <laughs> lots of pines, lots of like plants growing on other plants. Um, like various creepers and, and that kind of thing. Got an American flag and some other flag. I don't know what the other flag is because it's not the flag of Alabama. Something blue. Okay. Let's uh, mosey on along this road. Got uh, just yellow lines, no outside lines. Have we notice any reflectors? I haven't talked about that, but I know that that's a thing that's kind of unique to certain regions. I know there's a southern reflector. I would assume you find that in Alabama, but I'm not actually 100% sure. Um, yeah, more of these kind of just small, like, weatherboard houses. More pine trees. Yeah, I don't think we're finding anything. I might go back to the start and head the other way for a little bit. Um, or maybe even, can I go up this road? This looks even more rural to be honest with you. Uh, what are these red marks in the middle of the road? That's a bit interesting. Yeah, I mean... I think we're just we're just gonna be landscape guessing for this one. Private property. Okay, well, sure. Let us go. Maybe down in this. Uh, it's kind of a windy road. These roads look pretty straight, actually. What about the other side? I'd say yeah, that looks a little more plausible. Somewhere, somewhere like here, down right down by the crash. Okay, it wasn't. It was we're in Bankhead National Forest. Uh, on yeah, some very rural roads. I don't think we were getting out of <laughs> out of there. Um, yeah, I I will say that looked kind of crucial to me, but I guess not. Um, it was very forested, though. It does explain. Uh, does explain why it looked so lush and green. Uh, I'll take my six points and move on. I guess. Uh, yeah. Not not a great guess, but that's okay. That's not really what we're here for. Old Highway 84. Okay. Got a train track as well. Ashford Mini Storage. Ashford, is that a place? I think it is. It might even be one of the biggest cities. Was it on... I might be thinking of Auburn. Something started with A. Athens, Anniston, Aliceville, Alabaster, Auburn, and Lucia. Okay, maybe it's not terribly large. We'll have a bit more of a look, shall we? Got a subway. Alabama Midland Railroad, Ashford. Okay, Midland? 
I guess would be like here, right? Uh, Alberta. Auburn. Yeah. Adams. Okay. We do have we got a we got a railway station, which could be good if we want to try five King. I don't know if I can really be bothered, but it would be nice to have some some good guesses. Shallow Creek properties three three four three three four. I think was this bit, wasn't it? Um, yeah, huh. There you go, kids. Learn your phone codes. There's the tire center. All right, let's line this up then, shall we? So, uh, let's just have a, a look around now that we know where we are. This is what the far southeast corner looks like. So, I don't know if there's anything particularly distinct about it, to be honest. The trees are maybe a little different, less pines more kind of, I think that's an oak maybe, um, yeah, but let's line this up, what have we got, we got Liberty, uh, Servo, where's the Servo, is this the Servo, sure is, beautiful, okay, um, does that make up for <laughs> last round's guess, we remember the phone code and it helped us out. That's quite nice. Owens and Hodgesville. Okay. This looks like maybe a suburb of a larger city. Because it looks quite, quite nice. These brick houses. 334 again. Okay, that's useful. Face to face. Sure. Okay. Let's have a look at some number plates. Mm. Yeah, I think Alabama's maybe one of the ones that's a bit harder to, like it's not quite as, well actually that one's quite yellow and blue, yellow and blue, yellow and blue, yeah. If you know, if you know what to look for, it can, you can notice it, but it's not super distinct. Oh, we have uh, found our way into 2008 accidentally. Hate it when I, oh Granada. Granada? Is that a town? What just happened? What is happening? We keep warping into different time zones. This is a bit wild. Uh, Dollar General. Okay, excellent stuff. Yeah, the phone codes everywhere. Maybe US phone codes are something that I should prioritize learning because um, it's very useful. Can we find a Granada down here? There's Andalusia. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's uh, that's EU foreknowledge right there. The Granada and, and Andalusia are the same thing, kind of, depending on the timeline you're in, obviously. Uh, I'd like to quite. I'd like to go down this road, please. Thank you. Oh, we've got a psychic. That's fun. Psychic reading. Palm crystal tower. Wow. Very fun. Okay. Uh, where are we? Are we in Granada? I'd love a, a state highway sign or something. Bossman Seafood. Oats. Oh, there's a name. Oh, we're in 2008 again. God damn it. <laughs> Ab Abbeville? Um, St. Andrews and Carol. Is that one? Is that a good example of one? I'm not sure. Animal Hospital. Um, does that say a town name on it? Because I'm actually not sure where we are. We might be in Granada, we might be in Ab Abbeville. 
Yeah. Um. Okay. Now open. Excellent stuff. All right. I think I'm just gonna click in the middle of the farm card because I. Abby, Abby, Ab, Abbeville. Can we see that? I've got to imagine that Granada, if we're in Granada, is near Andalusia, right? Oh, there we are. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to pinpoint. I'm just going to click in the middle of the town. Excuse me? <laughs> uh, we weren't in that town? We were actually quite a way away from that town? I mean, sure. Good thing I didn't bother trying to pinpoint because I would have got very confused, but we were actually right by Ashford in uh, Dothan. Very strange. Okay. Uh, that's fine, I guess. Alright, final round here. Very lush and green as we have come to expect. We got this lovely sign as well. Very helpful. Uh, which direction looks promising? I guess the road with the lines. And, well, this road also has lines. Actually, this is a county marker. Hello. I don't know that county, unfortunately. Um... That's fine. We'll just, we'll go this way. This way looks kind of promising. Got a stop sign up here. Uh, is this a church? Bermuda Baptist Church? Sure. Where's Bermuda though? I mean, I know where the original Bermuda is. Well, it's probably not the original Bermuda. I know where the Bermuda in the, uh, Atlantic Ocean is. But this is not that. Conica. Okay. Oh, why is this a different junction sign? Why are you black and white and not black and yellow? It's a little interesting, isn't it? Okay. Um. Bermuda. Evergreen burnt corn. <laughs> okay. Evergreen. We got any burnt corn? <laughs> Is that a town name? Are you serious? That's quite funny. Um, Bermuda? There's burnt corn. Oh my god. If you live in Burnt Corn, Alabama, please hit me up. I would love to know about your town. Uh, what in the heck? Who made that choice? I mean, okay, so Burnt Corn is down northeast. And Evergreen is- okay, we're probably in Repton then? Yeah, Conica County 5. What's the number? 20. Uh... Okay. Again, I don't know if I can be bothered lining this up. There's the 15 burnt corn. <laughs> uh, oh, there's the church. Bermuda United Methodist Church. Uh, let's go back to the start. We're at a T-junction. Probably this one, I guess. It doesn't actually line up. Okay, maybe not that one. Maybe this one. Something like that. Yep. Yeah. Very nice. Alright. Well, a couple of 5Ks in there. One really not good guess, but other than that, I think we were we were pretty pretty good for the merch part. Um and yeah, that's what Alabama looks like. Good to know. Hopefully this will help me out. Ho hopefully uh, this will help you out as well. Um, yeah, and I hope you learned something. And also, if you're a more experienced player and or from this part of the world, uh, leave some tips in the comments. I'd really appreciate that because I'm, I'm definitely not an expert. I'm just trying to 
educate myself and possibly others at the same time. So yeah, thanks for watching.